Hey folks, JD here, and today, with all the ducks flying everywhere, it's like a goddamn nature video. I'm gonna take the Femi A3 back up again, get more ducks and more. Where the hell are they coming from? Is there something they know that I don't? Um, so I thought today I'd actually come down to, usually this place is full of campers, has been for weeks, so I haven't been able to fly here. Today, there's nobody other than myself. And I saw all the mist coming up from the river, and it, originally I thought, yeah, do you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just take the quad out over the river very slightly and have a little look and see what we've got. Now obviously we have had ducks flying around here, so I just want to ensure that um, there's going to be no more that uh, I crash into or that crash into me. Because uh, ducks are the very few animals which I think every time that they fly, they always look as if they're surprised that they're flying. So, uh, I don't want them to, obviously there's been so many, I, I don't know how many, in, uh, in a, a clump of maybe five or six at a time, and maybe there's been like maybe seven or eight clumps. So, I just wanted to go for a little, a little river walk, and just see exactly how, how it does really. I mean, I'm flying really slow at the second, so I'm hitting a, a max speed of, well, 0.1 meters per second, apparently, according to, uh, according to my, uh, my little instrument in front of me here. I'm just increasing height slightly because I don't want to be too low because it, this is the thing, see, it gets so dark around here. And I just want to ensure that I'm just getting enough of the river and enough of the, uh, enough of everything there. Where are we? There we are. Right, okay, I can see now that I'm well above tree line, so I'm going to bring her back a little bit. There's a lot of, lot of disruption around here, a lot of interference. I don't know why, but I'm getting, look at all that. So much. If I try angling the antenna slightly better. I was always told, see, 45 degree angle from your transmitter. No, still the same. Marginally better, but still the same roughly so I'm gonna take her up a little bit more just because we have a huge tree in front of us here and I've just been checking out the the area as well with the Nats app just to see exactly if, if it's been updated or not because it's always good to know when your area area updates as to whether it becomes a no-fly zone or whether it becomes a, a caution area and whereas before this area the whole area that I fly in was a uh, a safe to fly area now it's a caution area which makes me wonder if later on down the line they are going to make it a a no fly area i i sincerely hope not but at the same time um you know who can say eh who can say there's the interference coming at 131 meters distance so i'm going to turn her around and bring her back she's just going to be coming over this top of this tree line here there we are, the auto exposure has just changed. There we go, so you can just see me there as I alter the gimbal as it comes over. There we go. I mean, this has got, I mean, what are we up now? 32 meters. You can see I'm just, I'm like a dot. I'm purely like a dot. And uh, I just wanted to see exactly how low light videography today was actually going to do, because even though the sun has literally only just come up, and uh, usually I wait a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I start recording. Well, today is a test of the GoPro, and it's a test of this camera, and obviously, uh, see how, what the video output is like. Because I haven't done any low light tests, so I thought this week I would do some low light tests with two quads that I haven't done any low light tests with, really. Um, with this and the SGRC F11 uh, Pro, or what they call the Pro version. So, I mean, it's just she's just hanging there so beautifully. I'm going to just turn around, bit of yaw, bit of roll, nice for a nice little sweep in turn, readjust the, the gimbal the right way just so I can see in front of me. There we go, and then readjust a little bit too quickly actually, but still, readjust and then off we go. And it's, it's just, it's not going to be a fast flight as you can see, I mean my speed is currently set at 3.2 meters a second, so it's... It, you know, it's it, it's really not going to be a fast flight. It's not intended to be. It's just intended. There we are. Look, my signal's already going. 127 meters. Should I say my FPV relay rather than signal? It's just, it's just shocking. You know, 
it's, it, I appreciate the 5.8 uh, gigahertz band that they're using more than they will ever appreciate because it's quite literally I think it's a band that doesn't get used enough but at the same time if you are going to be doing something like that you really want to be just ensuring that you've got the capability of the 5.8 to deliver isn't it I mean, there's a little bird or something down there yeah it's a crow let's turn this back around quite sharp and then readjust and fly back out but it's yeah it, it's it's just lovely it's just lovely I mean today I've just increased her at her speed a little bit just so I can see I mean you can clearly make out the the definition on the trees you can clearly make out so much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit higher because I'm only sat at 32 meters I'm gonna go up to maybe 50 and then I'm going to see if I can push further a little bit. So here we go, and seeing exactly what the signal is, because there's no tree around here which is over 50 foot, other than standing right next to me, but I'm not flying right next to me, so we should be fine. So let's have a little look and see. So for the second, it's just a black, well, not a dot, I can see it quite well actually, just above the tree line, because that's where the sun is coming up. So therefore, the black against the blue, the black cord against the blue stands out quite well. So I'm just going to keep my eye on her as she's flying around just to ensure that I can still see her at all times. Yeah, it's getting a little bit dicey. 182 meters. Let's flip her back around. And that's the thing, 178. And literally, I've got, I can still see the quad in front of me, but look at that, it's just, well, it's getting better now the closer I'm coming back, but it's, it's just quite shocking at the fact that I can lose FPV signal and it's not as if I'm flying low today I'm flying up at 52 meters you know I'm flying quite high um, and you know there shouldn't be that much of an issue with me actually being able to see everything Ooh, that was my bad my finger slipped on the on the gimbal there but let's bring her down and let's see what we are doing I do really like this camera on this quad may not be the best but you know what it is it's fantastic and it, it can give you if you're like say flying for I don't know aerial reconnaissance if you're doing some sort of a survey of, of, of an area then you might it might just fit the bill if you know unless you're professional if you are and I wouldn't say go for it but if you're you know just kind of intrigued with the lay of the land or to see whether there are little little mounds all over the place left by the Roman occupation or whatever then you know you can do that quite nicely there was a video I came across the other day um, one of the subscribers on 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 this channel said, "Hey, do you want to have a little look at my video?" and posted a video up there, and uh, I had a little look at it, and it was fantastic. And it was him going over uh, some of the areas around by him where the Roman occupation, uh, well, 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 where where the Romans occupied rather, and um, in fact, what they were doing. There were little mounds all over the place and little divots and everything that you can see, and you can see that they were made out in like a in like a sort of like a semicircle or a circle. It was it was brilliant. But a magpie was going to go for me then so that beep probably because it's been recording for seven minutes signifies that every possibility that I've just split the uh, the video so the video itself now is going to be split into two parts that's fine I mean there's a proper white or if I just look in front of the camera and just keep the quad there I can see that yeah I lose all definition after a couple of seconds I mean it is far too bright far too bright and the settings I've got set for this for today is, is just set to auto ISO uh, for the minute I don't want to set it to anything else because I wanted to see what the camera is capable of doing off his own back oh there's more ducks I can hear behind me but there we go so a bit of low light videography nothing too special I just wanted to see exactly how this camera performed in the low light uh, and what sort of output we get from it because um, it's, it's not something I've ever looked at really is actually just going out with a purpose to get really dark fo footage well I think it's going to be really dark but the only one way to find out I think is to actually to actually give it a test and to see exactly how, how far that, that goes so we've got now coming up on 9 minutes and 4 seconds of video so I think today I'm going to leave that there and I'm just going to have a look at the video and see what the video looks like I think today just to let you know as well this time it's 5 past 7 on a Saturday morning so uh, it is extremely, extremely dark, well, dusk. Uh, hopefully it'll brighten up soon. But at the same time, 
I think out of the cameras I've got with me and the quads I've got with me, I think I stand a chance of bet getting better video from this one. I uh, sat at a pure auto level in a very low light uh, situation such as this, rather than the other quad that I have with me. But who's to know? Let's give it a little try and see exactly how we end up with that as well. All right, my friends, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.